I hear my talk about it because, uh, you know, Dr. Julie Gibb, first of all, is coming in uh, in August, uh, or pardon me, in October, November, and uh, all those orphan patients have five, six, seven hundred on the orphan patient list. They'll hopefully have a, and will have a doctor come this fall, but, but Dr. Michael Pace coming to ER or signing a five-year agreement uh, for ER in Southampton is big news for this community, and it's going to really help fill a void. And I think between Dr. Pace and, and also now with Dr. Julie Gibb coming in in October, November, two doctors within a six-month period, that's, that's big news for Sovereign Shores. Where the physician recruitment team, Peggy has done, a physician recruiter, has done a wonderful job with, uh, with recruiting doctors for this community. And, and I, I really do encourage people to phone the Healthcare Connect. Tell us about that. What, uh, what's your concern there? Well, I, I think not enough. And I, I, I continue to receive calls from people that don't have residents who don't have a family physician. And I, and I keep telling them to inform them to call the 1-800 number, Google it, to tell Healthcare Connect, uh, Google that number and call them and, and place your name on the orphan patient list. So that Dr. Julie Gibb arrives in, in October, November, those names on that orphan patient list, many, will be removed from the orphan patient list. You know, those individuals will have a family doctor. So it is terrific news for Saudi Shores to announce two doctors within a six-month period. Dr. Pace in the ER, what does that do to our ER? Are we good there now? Well, we're, we're, we're getting in better shape. I mean, I think ER has always, has always been a, a hole, uh, you know, a gaping hole in terms of servicing ER. Dr. Dr. McKinnon has done a wonderful job the last five years, but, but Dr. Pace coming on board now, signing a new five-year agreement, it just moves us closer to satisfying the needs of ER. We're not quite there entirely, but we're getting darn close to servicing the needs there. I think that the search for, do for ER doctors is going to be an ongoing process. As family, family physician in the recruitment is, is going to be an ongoing process as well. But big news for Saugie Shores and our physician recruitment team are just absolutely delighted. And again, kudos to Peggy, our physician recruiter. She's done a lot of this work. How much does the uh, ER expansion help in the recruitment process? Oh, I think that's, I mean, we're Saugie Shores and having a you know, a $10 million plus expansion to our ER, uh, I think it's just been a, it's great news for the, for the community. And, and hats off to that group for raising the, the millions of dollars that they've raised for, for ER. So I think it, it plays part, of, absolutely. If you talk to some of our, our family physicians in town about the expansion to ER, there's a good feeling out there. It's, uh, so they think there's a bit of a, there's a buzz going on in Saugan Shores to do with, with, with uh, ER and physician recruitment and expansion. It's, it's really a, a good news story. Do you have any details about Dr. Pace, where he came from, I, history I, of background? I'd have to refer that to Peggy, or physician recruiter, and she'll have all the information on Dr. Pace Francis.